I've got some exciting news to share with you. 12 new cloud types have just been added to the International Cloud Atlas, the first update to the Atlas in 31 years. You may have some questions. Where were these clouds hiding for the past three decades? There's a cloud atlas. Have I seen any of these before? Well, first of all, the International Cloud Atlas is actually a globally recognized source for meteorologists. First created in 1896, it has been a resource of cloud types and photos that has helped train scientists and sky watchers for decades. But since the advent of smartphones, we have a whole new perspective on the sky. And that's really what led to the recent update. Many of the new ads can be attributed to citizen scientists who share and discuss clouds by uploading photos to the Atlas's site. So about the new clouds, will they involve clouds on all height levels and classifications, including rainbow clouds, roll clouds, and wall clouds, as us meteorologists have been unofficially calling some of these. The Latin names themselves are pretty cool. And speaking of cool, my favorite new ads, let me start you off with the beautifully named Asparatus undulatus, often seen in Canadian skies. They almost look like you're viewing waves from underneath the water surface. There's still a lot to learn about these guys. They likely form in sinking moisture-laden air with shear winds. Next up, cavum, or hole punch clouds as I know them, caused when ice crystals are introduced into a thin cloud layer of supercooled water droplets, usually from an aircraft during takeoff or landing. The water droplets all rush to freeze in on those ice crystals, creating a vacuum in the sky. I had to add these ones for the uh, conspiracy emails I often get. Yes, these are contrails or homogenitus, clouds caused by human activities. In this case, when water vapor condenses and freezes around small particles that exist in aircraft exhaust. Lastly, I wanted to show you this one, Flamma genitus, a scene we saw a lot during the devastating Fort McMurray fires, pyrocumulus clouds actually created by the rising heat of the fire itself. Now, I could go on, but you can actually check out all 12 yourself because 2017 is also the first year that the renowned Cloud Atlas will be published entirely online. So whether you were already a member of the International Cloud Appreciation Society, yes, that's also a thing, or you're just like looking up once in a while, take a moment to consider clouds and you may end up with a greater appreciation for our atmosphere. And now you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.